Hello everyone. I just want to preface, I'm wearing a collagen face mask, so this is what you're going to be staring at for the next couple minutes. In today's video, I really, really just wanted to document getting my life together or even just trying to get my life together. I always keep saying I want to sleep early, I want to wake up early, I want to be able to do all these things. I say it and I never do it. The thing that kind of got me to this point is I just realized I'm just going further and further away from my long-term goals because I've been prioritizing, I guess, temporary fun things, going out, spending money, like being with my friends, which obviously like it's fine, it's okay, but I feel like I've been doing it a lot. Not only is it draining my bank account, I don't have any time to be able to edit videos, to do t-shirts, I just cram and then just get stressed out because I have to do it all in one day. If I were to still be at school, <laughs> I would be on a schedule right now. I would have to make a schedule around certain things like class and stuff. Why do I have to change when I'm graduated? I should also have a routine. For work, I usually go to sleep around two and wake up around eight, eight fifteen. I really want to start getting at least seven hours or I want to go to sleep at one. It's already 11.53. I wake up in the morning. I'm frantic about like what outfit I'm going to wear, what my lunch is going to be. Just like in general frantic because I'm sleeping in late too because I don't have enough sleep. I could be way more productive if I was able to implement some daily and like morning and night routine. So today is the start of it. I was able to make my lunch, pack my lunch for the next morning. My mom made some adobo, so I just packed that up and have that set for tomorrow. And then I also did my skincare routine. My skin has been acting out a little bit and I do have a skincare video coming out soon of my skincare journey once it's all fixed. Cause it's starting to knock on wood, be on the come up. So once my skin is cleared, then you're gonna get that video. I've been waiting to use this collagen gel mask, the jelly ones that are white and then they turn clear when you're done. And I heard you don't need to put them on overnight. So I think I'm just gonna do a few hours. Whoosh. I guess I'm doing this wrong. What part do I put on my face? I assume this part. <gasps> what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, next part. I also was taught. I was able to pick out my outfit for tomorrow just so it relieves like a little stress in the morning so I can just literally put on whatever I need and go. I did a pretty good job of hitting every single thing that I wanted to do today. I think I'm about to garden so I can just relax myself. That's also one thing that I've been wanting to change. I garden pretty frequently and when I have a setup that's really easy for me to use. I'm the type of person where if it's in front of me then I'm gonna want it. Whenever it's just like out of sight, out of mind, I'm good. I bought some cones because I know Notice whenever I just garden at the end of the night, after everything is done, I feel so much better about myself because I was productive during the day and then I'm good to just rest at nighttime. The cones are coming tomorrow, so I'm just gonna make a whole bunch tomorrow so then I could just be prepared for the rest of the week. Think I'm about to garden now, relax in bed, maybe journal a little bit. This face mask is drying a little bit more. I just wanted to go over how I journal. I have multiple, multiple physical journals. I've been journaling since freshman year of college and it was journaling, it literally means manifesting like a boy or something. But I was still getting my thoughts out there. So now I've definitely matured that there are a lot more things that I'm worrying about in my head or overthinking in my head. So I need to just get it out onto paper or like the computer. You guys have probably heard of Notion before. It's an organized like notes app. I don't even know how to describe it. One of the many, many ways that I use Notion. If you want an extra video about how I use Notion, how I organize with Notion, let me know. I have this one template that I've been using for a while. This is where I journal. I have another calendar. For example, if I want to make a journal entry for today, I'll be like, hey, I'll just go down here and I'll type all my things I want to type. And then it'll show up right here. So you can literally type as much as you want. Like, look how much I've typed on here. It's been helping me a lot with just like being hard on myself about wanting to get all the things that I wanted to have done, done. And just like other things too. You just need to get it out onto something so you just don't have it in your head. Please put journaling into your nighttime routine if you notice yourself just like overthinking a lot. I don't know. I did legs on Monday and my legs hurt so bad still. So incredibly bad. I'm awake, it's 8.10. I ended up sleeping at one-ish. Salad. 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 Salad.
on the road. It's currently 8.42 and I did a pretty good job of being on time. I woke up 15 minutes earlier than normal. I wasn't rushing out the door. I have everything prepared and I'm excited for work. See, this is what happens when you actually stick to what you have for plans. You feel so much more accomplished. I did want to go straight from work to the gym, but last night I forgot to pack my gym clothes. I think I'm just gonna have to go home and then change and whatever, but it's okay. Can't have everything correct the first time. I did a good job at sleeping early, waking up early, and now I just need to implement going to the gym. Don't know how much I'm gonna be vlogging at work because I still get a little nervous of recording there just because it's like so not a normal thing, at least out of my coworkers and stuff to be doing that. This comes wide, man, in the camera. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> he's doing the, he's doing the, um, <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm here. I am just stalling in the car. <clears throat> Everyone, this is Alyssa, by the way. <laughs> Alyssa's taste testing the chocolate. Pistachio. What is it? It's uh, Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Dubai, Dubai candy. <laughs> this one was made by James's mom. Watch this, everyone. Oh, and there's little gold, gold flakes on there. Ooh. All right, first bite. Cheers. Cheers. I love this. It's like a really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> another piece. Oh my god, this is actually really mm -hmm. good. In the bathroom, had to take a little break. 104. Alyssa just went to go get some lunch so then we can go and eat lunch. Well, we're eating outside. Ooh, it's more fun than the, in the office. It's, it's so good. quiet today. There's it's literally like no one there. What a beautiful view. <laughs> <laughs> First bite. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, this is Kissy. <laughs> Me, Tori, and the office busy working. This guy, James. Look busy. He's busy, <laughs> but he's not really busy. He's acting typing like by away. typing. <laughs> and if you see the screen, there's nothing happening. <laughs> Our HR, she's working very hard. Sit what here. is Tori doing? <laughs> Tori just started and she's evolving in the company right now. Yes. And I learning new things every day. <laughs> this is our office. This is our screen. Welcome yeah. your coworkers and the other side. I don't want him to on the video. <laughs> I do have to ship out a few packages for work before I go home. Sorry, I need to focus on my driving. Told myself I was gonna go to the gym because one of the things that I said I'm gonna do, when I say I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick to it and actually go. But today, I'm gonna tell myself so many times that I'm gonna wanna go to the gym after work, but I just don't think I can. Even though I don't even do anything too crazy at work, mentally tiring, cause you're like a different person kind of of when you're working because you just have to act professional and you're not like 100% yourself and you don't want to mess up. I told myself, listen to my body because also that's one of the things that I feel like that makes me really hard on myself is I say I'm going to do something and put expectations for something that's like not realistic. I mean, going to the gym after work is realistic, but is it though? I'm tired. I don't want to do anything and I have four days off. So like might as well for sure go on those days. On the weekends, then I have no excuse. Also, I think the thing that really pushed me to not go is I went to the gym and hit legs for the first time in a few weeks on Monday. It is now day two after hitting legs and I cannot sit on a toilet. I cannot sit on a chair. I cannot sit on anything. I don't know, I just feel geriatric. Like I can't move. My butt hurts so, so bad. In the middle of the night, I went to go up and pee. I was almost in tears. It, oh my God, anyways. Oh, God. <laughs> what are you sniffing? <laughs> it's still 
back on you, silly goose. Mwah. <coughs> Yum. <laughs> Can you look so sticky? Yeah, they have sugar. Everything in the Philippines is so sweet. It is 7.58. I'm picking up my niece from basketball practice. I just had a lot of Filipino food, which I missed so much, especially after just like traveling and eating out a bunch. I need to tell her where I am. I have a bug bite on my leg. Hey girl. Hi. That practice is so fun. Was it? Yeah. There was only like six grades there, but it was pretty fun, I guess. How are you feeling? Do you still feel Way sick? Way better. I'm not sick That's anymore. Good. Did you not go to school? Yeah, I didn't go to school. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, I was happy because I had three tests that day. Yeah. <laughs> but you're going to have to make them up, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to have to make them up tomorrow. Hello, guys. I am now back home. Just came back from my walk with my mom. I've been spending a lot of money, but it's alumni weekend at school. At the end of October, I want to go. My friends like are going, so I'm like, okay, I have to go. The tattoo artist that I go to that I've always gotten my tattoos from, I think I might hit him up and ask him to do one of these tattoos. I really want to get it, but I feel like I want to wait until the series is over. But like, I want it now, and I've been craving a new tattoo. Something like along the lines of this. I want it to be more line work to match my Aaron. Because he did this one. And he had one of the same professors that I had at school. Doesn't look like it's in the budget for now because I have to pay this $100 ticket from DC. I went over my parking limit three minutes and I got a $100 ticket. Not even a five minute grace period. Three minutes I was at my car. Ended at 250, I was at my car. 253, ticket. $100. They just don't fuck around in the city, I guess. I, I fell for it. I fell for it. I am just gonna go take a shower, wind down, do a little bit of work. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.